Right, now this is the third video in the game, and what we're going to get happening this time is we're going to get a score working. Now this is quite easy to do. What we need to do is go to data, click over here, and what we're going to do is make a variable. A variable is a number that can change. So if I click on here, and I'm going to call this score. And it's going to be for all sprites, because I want all the ducks in my game to be able to use this score. Okay, there it is. Now what we want to do, first of all, is when somebody presses the space key at the start, we want to set the score to zero. That's quite important. Now, very simple. There's two options, look. We've got set score and change score. Now, if you think about this, we've got two options here. We can put in a set score every time somebody touches the duck with the sight and clicks, but that's going to keep setting it to zero every time, so we don't want a set. What we want is to change the score. So every time somebody puts their mouse pointer and clicks on the duck, we play a sound and change the score by one. And you can see here's my score. I can change this by right clicking, look, and I can get a large readout if I want to. But I'm going to go with a normal one. So let's try that. See my duck's not moving, just so I can show you what happens. So here we go. Okay. Part of the reason it's jumping so high is because of the fact that I'm not moving my mouse off of it. So yours will probably be fine when your duck's moving. Okay, you can see it's a bit better now because I'm being a bit more careful. But if I hold it on, look, it jumps up quite a lot. And that's how we get a score working in Scratch.